Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Corsair HX 750 750 watt power supply. What's included with the power supply is a user's manual, a pouch with all the module leads in it, cable ties, a case badge, four black screws for mounting the power supply in the case, and the power cord. The Corsair HX line of power supplies are currently available in a number of wattages. 450, 520, 620, 750, 850, and 1000. I'll be reviewing the 750 watt model. Now how is wattage determined? To understand that, you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use and there are essentially two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case, the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 150 watts and the 12 volt is 744 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. Also some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail. Well the 3.3 volt and the 5 volt rails are both 25 amps each and the plus 12 volt rail is 62 amps. There are a couple of important things to remember when selecting a power supply. The first is wattage. Determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware that you will be installing. Generally speaking, a medium to high end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply. For a hardcore system, select a power supply around 800 watts. If, however, you are building an extreme gaming rig with a top of the line multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware, get a power supply that's around 1000 watts or greater. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficient at typical load. The efficiency of this power supply is rated above 80% at max load and around 90% efficient at 50% load, which is a typical system load. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, overvoltage, undervoltage, and other protections. This power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has APFC. APFC, or Active Power Factor Correction, is something that also assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, this power supply has APFC. Fifth, there are three main certifications, 80 Plus, NVIDIA SLI, and ATI Crossfire. Many of today's high-end power supplies meet one or more of these certifications. Sixth, look for a power supply that uses Japanese capacitors. This ensures a much more reliable product than a power supply with low-grade capacitors. And by the way, this power supply uses Japanese capacitors with a 105 degrees Celsius rating. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Also consider a power supply that has a modular design because this reduces the cable mess inside the case. Now let's have a closer look at this power supply. It has a rough black paint finish and the housing is steel. They include a temperature controlled quiet 140 millimeter fan. So the hotter the inside of the power supply gets, the faster the fan spins. The 140 millimeter fan and the honeycomb ventilation ensures maximum cooling. So this power supply should remain cool in almost any environment. Here's the power cable connection and the power switch. This power supply has lots of leads, but the 24 pin and 8 pin motherboard leads are hardwired into the power supply and can't be removed, but the remaining are flat, flexible, modular leads. Modular leads are simply brilliant because you only need to use the ones required for your particular setup, which reduces the cable mess inside the case and also increases airflow inside the case. Finally, have a listen to the 140 millimeter fan.
with the Corsair HX line of power supplies ranging from 420 watts all the way up to 1000 watts, you're sure to be able to get a power supply that best fits your particular setup. Now this model, the HX750, performed really well, has a really nice quiet 140 millimeter fan and is modular. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.